How's it going, everybody? It's Mr. Bono. I know everybody's staying at home, staying healthy, but I'm about to make sure that everybody gets a little bit math going because uh, we've been out of school for so long. Let's take a look at this screen real quick. Usually we do a number talk, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. Would you rather have one fourth of a whole pizza or one eighth of a whole pizza? I want you to think in your head. Just a few seconds, why? This is one whole pizza over here, which is partitioned into fours. There are four equal parts that make that whole pizza. This is a pizza over here, one whole pizza that is partitioned into eights. There are eight equal parts over here. So just think about it for a second. You can even pause the video if you want and just resume it when you're ready. Now, I know that all of you are hungry for some more knowledge. Get smarter, even though you might be at home right now. What I'm gonna do is use some fraction rods to help you understand the difference between one fourth and one eighth, and which one you might want if you had a pizza, if you're really, really hungry, all right? Let's take a look at this. Right here, this is one hole. Here is another hole. Let's just say this is one long pizza. This is another long pizza. One of those pizzas was partitioned into four equal parts. So that means I need fourths. Everybody see that? So that means one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. That equals one whole. And the other pizza was partitioned into eight equal parts, or eights. I already have it here. We have one eighth, 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 one eighth. We have eight one eighths. So we have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. I'm going to just put it over here so you see it's the same size as one whole. That also means that eight eighths is equivalent, and that means the same size as four fourths. I'll just put this a little bit closer so then you can see when we compare them. Now, if you are really hungry, I know you're hungry for some new math. You are, you really just want to fill your stomach up and your brain up. We look at one fourth, which is right here. Boom, one fourth. So that means that there would be four of these that make one whole. Four equal parts that would equal this one whole. Now, if we have one eighth, and remember, you're really, really hungry. You haven't eaten all day. And it took eight equal parts to equal one whole. Which one would you rather have? I don't know about you, but when I look at this, I see that one-fourth is a bit bigger than one-eighth. I wonder how many eighths will actually equal one-fourth. That's something for you to think about. But I noticed that one-fourth is a little bit bigger and closer to one whole. One-eighth is smaller than one-fourth. So if I was really hungry and I wanted one fourth or one eighth and somebody was offering me some, I'll take that one fourth. If you cover that one fourth up, I wonder how many eighths that would equal. Think about it at home. This is Mr. Bonhomme signing out. Stay humble, stay healthy, and stay hungry. Feed your brain.